There's messiness, which we might see, for example, in our college student population, pretty common in that group of people. And messiness, and there are people who are not terribly organized and have a fairly messy home. And all that means is that there's some clutter around and about, but it doesn't really interfere with the use of a room or the use of furniture in a room. So for example, you might walk into somebody's living room and they've got a few piles here and there and the coffee table has a few things on it and they've left their coffee cups or whatever they ate breakfast on the counter in the kitchen and so on and so forth. But in fact, the amount of clutter is relatively modest. And you can certainly walk through the rooms easily, you can sit on the chairs, you can push things aside and use the table surface and so forth. So that's messiness and it's a very low level of clutter and not caused by the same difficulty getting rid of an object. If they knew people were coming, they could clean up and the house would look perfectly fine. People could visit and they would have a nice time. In a hoarded home, one could not easily clean up without days and days or weeks and weeks or even months of work on it.